What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we'll be checking out this Hopkins replacement plug. So it's gonna have a four pole connector and seven pole. Let's check it out. You can see that they have covers on there that are actually spring, so they close on their own. You don't have to worry about leaving them open or wearing out over time. You get a nice diagram on the outside that lets you know what tabs to test. If there are any issues, opening up, you can see it's recessed back in there. It has to cut out exactly for that seven pole. You can easily access the tabs in there just like you could before with your old plug. Top one's the same way for the four pole. It's conveniently located right there. Same spring action and cover on there and keeping all that dust, dirt, and debris outside of the plugs to keep it clean and working longer. Looking underneath the cap, we're gonna have rubber gasket here that helps keep water out. So we have one on the seven pole protecting these connections and there's gonna be one up here on the four pole as well. Now we talk about what it does. How bad is it to install? It's actually not hard at all. You don't even really need any tools. Check out how I did it. First step is we're gonna pop out either the dummy plug or the broken plug. We have a broken plug in right now from the factory. Some of the tabs are bent in the back to where it's unusable, so we're gonna replace it. So I'm gonna go back underneath and disconnect it. There's gonna be two silver tabs on the side. Now you're gonna to to push on those at the same time and just pop this plug out. It'll be easier to disconnect this on the outside. Push in both of those tabs. Got one side there. Gotta make sure you can do one side to pop it to start it and then do the other one to get the rest out. And I can show you what I was talking about. This is what I pushed on in the tabs to get it out. You do that on both sides and that popped our old broken plug out. And then we can disconnect this. Now this gray part looks like what you disconnect but you actually do this bigger portion here you just push it down on this part is the tab and you separate the plug from the connector. Now we're going to take the new four pole, seven pole plug, put it into the socket, push it into place. And then we're just going to push this back into place as well. And the cutout, you'll hear it, you'll hear these clips snap. That means it's locked in just like that. We got our four pole tester in there just to test to make sure this is gonna work. So I'm gonna run through the signals. We got the left turn, the right turn, brakes, and then running lights. Looks good. Now we got our seven pole connector plugged in. We wanna test that as well. So we're gonna go through the same functions. Left turn, right turn, brake, lights, Looks good, and then let's go ahead and throw in reverse and see if that light comes on too. Looks good. Overall, it was really easy to install. I like that you could replace just this portion. You don't have to go through and run any more wires. You don't have to make any connections or anything like that. I didn't even need any tools. Just pop this out, put the new one into place, and you're good to go. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out. I hope this helped.